So a couple of years ago, in the summer of 2014, I went into railing around Europe for a month. I went to 10 different countries, I did it all on my own, which was a scary prospect. And of course, as someone who was and is interested in filmmaking, I decided to film the whole thing. But I hadn't been doing YouTube for nearly a year at that point, so I've never actually done anything with all the videos or put them anywhere. So I decided as I've started YouTube again, I'd put them on this channel and share them with you guys. Um, the whole journey will be split into 10 different videos uh, because as I say, I went to 10 different countries. So each video will focus on one of the countries I went to. This first video will focus on me leaving England and heading to Italy, which is the first country I went to. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already so you can check out all the videos as they go up and you can see the whole journey pan out. But that's about it. Hope you enjoy this first video. So the good part is I made it to Italy, made it to Rome. The bad part is I now I've got to wait an hour and 20 minutes for the bus that take me to my hostel. So... Okay, so it's 10.30 a.m. I'm in Rome and it is officially the start of day one. So... Let's see what Rome has to offer. Not bad. to try and find places, which wasn't working by the way, I've been lost for about two hours, ran out. So in the middle of a busy street, I mean, you can see in here how busy it is. I've had to get my laptop out to connect my phone to it so that I can charge it back up so that I can get in and look for directions. I mean, seriously, this shit would only happen to me, wouldn't it? This wouldn't happen to anybody else. As I'm sure you saw, um, my phone did work better when I turned it back on and I charged it. I finally managed to find it. it. Only took me about 10 minutes that time as well. So that was a fun waste of two hours the first time the directions didn't want to work. Yeah, I found the uh, Trevi Fountain. Um, wasn't really what I expected. Um, it was all sealed off. It had like construction all around it. It was a bit naff, really. No offence, Rome. Um, and then I saw that palace or whatever. Not really sure where that was, didn't plan to see that. It was just on my way back. And um, now, I mean, I'm done for the day. I'm just chilling in a little park or whatever, get some food in a couple of hours, and then uh, wait for my train, which take me overnight to Venice. Um,
was like a maze you can't quite lose. Cause like, I mean, I have no idea where I am right now, not a clue, but I don't actually feel lost and I don't feel like I'm struggling to find where I am and I don't feel like I'm panicking or anything. I'm just enjoying walking around and trying to discover where I am. I mean, obviously the fact that it's like, what, 5.30 in the morning has something to do with it, but it just feels so like peaceful here and like calm and like the water and everything just makes it feel so relaxing. It's like, so this is a nice place. And at this point I decided to leave Venice. I didn't mention this on camera or film anything at the time. I think just because I was in a really shit mood. Obviously the weather got pretty bad as you saw, which spoiled stuff, but generally I was just feeling pretty down and lonely. Don't get me wrong, as I say in the video, Venice is a lovely place, but it's really somewhere that's designed for couples or families because everything is designed for two or more people to do really. Like gondolas are the big thing in Venice, obviously. You don't go on a gondola on your own, you go on it with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your family. So I was just seeing everyone doing things together and having fun and going on gondolas and doing all the main Venice attractions. And then I was just on my own, just walking around and just looking at stuff. So it just got me pretty down. So I decided to book a hostel in Milan, jump on a train and spend the rest of the day there. So the next thing you see will be me on a train heading to Milan. best place I've seen so far just like the sheer like architecture of it and like the size of it and like everything that must have gone into like making it I mean I can't even like begin to wrap my head around how people like me can make that I mean I'm staying for tonight and then tomorrow morning I'm going to get a train to Zermatt in Austria which should be good um, be a lot more chilled out and relaxed tomorrow been a pretty hectic 24 hours I mean 24 hours ago I was in the train station in Rome to get the train station to Venice and now I'm in Milan I've been to Rome Venice and Milan all in 24 hours it's been crazy that's it for today though so I'll see you tomorrow when we head to Austria I'm going to get some sleep now because I'm knackered, haven't had a proper sleep in like two, three days. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. So uh, I'll catch you tomorrow.